Welcome and hope you're doing well. We are going to talk about the five things that we learned about Venus Williams and reveal those highs and lows and hopefully it will inspire or even motivate you. Here at Mr. Motocultural, we judge a person by their character, not by their race, colour or religion. <laughs> My name is Bobby A. Said. I'm the founder of The MS Show, established in 1997. At Mr. Metacultural, this word is clearly defined by the Cambridge English Dictionary. As you can see from these articles, Venus Williams didn't have an easy life. Before we tell you about Venus Williams, let's hear from the remarkable woman who is a true pioneer in every sense of the word through her Emma acceptance speech during the height of her tennis success as she took time out to receive this recognition from us. Hi everyone, it's a real honor to receive the award. Thank you very, very much. I'm sorry I can't be here to receive it in person, but I'm right in the middle of a tournament, but I hope to see you next year at the next Emma's. Number one, resilience. Venus Ebony Star Williams was born on the 17th of June, 1980, in Linford, California, the older daughter of Richard and Austin Williams, and the sister of the famed tennis star Serena Williams. She also has eight other half-siblings. Her father ran a private security firm in Compton and had previously played football. He later became a dedicated fan of tennis by watching televised coverage of professional tournaments and was determined to make tennis stars out of his two daughters. Venus spent her early years in Compton, Los Angeles County, where she started playing tennis from the age of four. At a local tennis court, Compton at the time was gripped by a rise of gang violence. And anyone who played nearby Compton Municipal Courts frequently had to take cover to avoid being hit by stray gunfire from rival gangs. Despite the environment, her talent was apparent from an early age when she was seven. A professional local tennis star named Tony Chester spotted Venus and quickly identified her potential in the sport. In 1990, when she was 10, the family moved to West Palm Beach, Florida, so that Venus and Serena could attend Rick Macy's Tennis Academy, who took notice of them and would provide additional coaching. It was here that Williams sisters first experienced racism from white middle-class families as their father heard people disparage them during tournaments. He stopped sending his daughters to national junior tennis tournaments when Venus was 11, since he wanted them to take it slowly and focus on schoolwork, and then more senior tournaments will transpire. Around this time, Venus was holding the United States Tennis Association record for the junior tour with 63 wins and was ranked number one among the under 12 players in Southern California. Number two, commitment. In 1994, at the age of 14, her father bought Venus out of Tennis Academy. Later in October, she entered her first professional tournament at the Silicon Valley Classic in Oakland. Although beaten by woman's number two at the time, Aranksa Vicario, Venus managed to win against Martina Navratilova. Venus continued to grow professionally, proving her talent and commitment. By April 1997, at only 17, she cracked the top 100 slot in her lineup against Ivan Majoli, getting her into the renowned Grand Slam. Later in the year, she debuted at the US Open and finished the year as woman's number 22. In January 1998, Venus faced her sister Serena in their first professional game at the Australian Open who she went on to beat, but was eventually lost the quarterfinals to Lindsay Davenport. Three weeks later, Venus defeated number two Davenport for the first time in the semi-finals of the IGA Tennis Classic in Oklahoma City. Venus then defeated Jeanette Kruger in the final to win her first single title of her career. The same year, Venus won the Tier 1 Lipton International Players' Championship in Key Biscayne, Florida defeating number one Martina Higgins in the semi-finals. On the 30th of March 1998, her ranking broke into the top 10 for the first time at number 10. Number three, passion. 
For the Grand Slam in 1998, Venus teamed up with Justin Gibberstop for the mixed doubles. While she safely secured two titles, her younger sister Serena won the other two, eventually turning the year into the Williams Family Mixed Doubles Grand Slam. She finished the year ranked Women's World number five. In the 1999 Grand Slam, Venus failed to reach the semi-finals of Australia Open. However, her performance at the US Open was a fruitful one. As she reached the semi-finals at the French Open, she extended her winning streak to 22 matches. Venus' performance at the other tournaments in 1999 were also remarkable as she played successfully against some of the top players. It was due to this that Venus had managed to achieve number three ranking by the end of the year. While Venus' single victory counts were escalating steadily, her pairing with sister Serena also paid rewarding results as the two managed to win women's double titles at the French Open and the US Open in the year 1999. This year, however, just the beginning as they went on to win many more titles in the category. Venus dominance over the game started in 2000. Venus started the new millennium having to miss five months of tennis as she had developed tendonitis in both wrists, although losing the Betty Barkley Cup quarterfinals and placing third at the Italian Open. She returned to form, commencing a 35 consecutive win streak. Venus won her first Grand Slam single title at Wimbledon, defeating women's world number one Martina Hingis and joined her sister once again to win another Grand Slam, women's double. Venus winning streak continued through the Silicon Valley Classic and the Southern California Open, the Connecticut Open and the US Open. This helped gain her entry into the 2000 Olympic where she beat Elena Diveteva and won her gold medal. Venus and her younger sister Serena also won the gold medal for the women's double. Venus began 2001 by reaching the semi-finals at the Australian Open, losing to Martina Hingis. However, Venus and Serena had won another women's double, completing a career golden slam for them both. She ended the year by winning her fourth Grand Slam singles title against her sister, the first Grand Slam match in history to be contested by two sisters. Number four self-discipline. In 2002, after receiving her Emmas in 2001, she beat Justin Hinnin at the Diamond Games and she became world number one. This made her the first African-American woman to hold this ranking in the Open Era and the second all-time since Anthea Gibson in 1957. Gibson was one of the first black athletes to cross the color line of international tennis in the 1950s and an inspiration for future athletes like Venus. In regards to this, Venus has stated, her accomplishments set the stage for my success and through players like myself and Serena and many others to come, her legacy will live on. Venus maintained her world ranking in the following weeks preceding the Amelia Island Championship and the French Open. However, she eventually lost to her sister Serena at Wimbledon and then Serena went on to replace Venus as number one, hence keeping this major title as world number one within the family. This had answered those many racist questions imposed by racists who saw the two sisters as being inferior. Venus ended the year at number two in the world of women's tennis, having won seven titles. Number five, belief. In 2006, she competed in only a handful of tournaments due to the lingering wrist injury, but she returned to form in 2007, winning the singles title at Wimbledon. She repeated their victory a year later when she defeated Serena for the fifth career Wimbledon championship. A few months later, the Williams sisters teamed up to capture the doubles title in 2008 in Beijing Olympic Games. In 2011, Williams was diagnosed with Sjogren's syndrome, an autoimmune disease where circuitry glands develop a form of inflammation. It affects approximately 0.6% of adults in the UK, with the average age of patients being 50 years or old, and 90% of patients being women. She switched to a vegetarian diet and altered her training schedule to allow her more recovery days. 
She didn't let the disease put her down after adopting a new circumstances. She won her 13 Grand Slam doubles title at Wimbledon in 2012 with her sister Serena. Moreover, the sisters went on to defeat Czech Republic tennis star Andrea Havlikova and Lucia Hadeska in the doubles final in 2012 London Olympic Games, giving them both a total of four Olympic gold medals. That fall, Venus also won her first WTA single title in more than two years. Venus demonstrated she could still overwhelm opponents by reaching the final of the Rogers Cup and the Coupe Bank Nationale in 2014. In early 2015, she claimed her 46th career single title by defeating top-seated Caroline Wozniacki at the ASB Classic. That summer, the veteran star advanced to the fourth round of the Wimbledon her strongest showing at the tournament since 2011 before losing to Serena on center court. Venus then powered into the quarterfinals of the US Open, but again she was unable to pass her sister Serena in a tense three-set match. Regarding Venus' most recent achievements at Wimbledon in 2016, the 36-year-old Venus became the oldest women's Grand Slam semi-finalist since Martina Navratilova in 1994. Before suffering a loss to Angelique Kerber, she then successfully teamed up with Serena to win the doubles title, their sixth together at Wimbledon. The same year, she also participated in the Rio Olympics, where she managed to reach the final at the mixed doubles competition. Venus opened 2017 with a good showing at the Australian Open final before losing to hard-fought match to Serena. She then made another surprise surge to the Wimbledon final where she was defeated by Gabi Muguruza and even advanced to the semi-finals of the US Open after falling just short of the prize at the WTA finals. Venus finished the year ranked number five in the world. Venus continues to compete. Although her ranking has dropped at the age of 39, she was the oldest player to enter the 2019 Wimbledon field. In summary, since 2005, Venus has also been featured in the media outlet like Time Magazine, Tennis Magazines and the Tennis Channel, all of whom celebrate the successes of her lengthy career, ranking her in the top 20 of female tennis players of all time. In 2005, Venus joined the Battle for Equal Prize Money for Female Tennis Players, which had begun by Billie Jean King back in the early 1970s. Her essay posted by the Times in early 2006 criticizing women as sexist approach was endorsed by leaders around the world. In 2006, UNESCO, the United Nations Cultural Organization, titled her as the first promoter of gender equality. In 2007, her unwavering fight led Wimbledon to award women players the same pay as their male counterparts in a historic achievement. In 2010, Venus also published her first book, Come to Win, on how sports can help you to top your profession, which sought thousands of sales and was ranked in the top five New York Times bestsellers list. This helped cement her 77th spot in Forbes magazine, top 100 most powerful celebrities list. In addition to sports, Venus has also shown an interest in fashion and design, as well as a keen business acumen. After obtaining an association degree in fashion design from the Arts Institute of Fort Lauderdale in 2007, she launched the activewear brand Eleven, the largest apparel line ever launched by a female athlete. Sticking to her entrepreneurial spirit, in 2009, Williams, along with her sister Serena, became the first female African Americans to have a stake in the NFL franchise after joining the ownership group of the Miami Dolphins. Throughout her legendary career, she never forgot to give back to the community. She has supported the American Heart Foundation, Elton John's Aid Foundation, and Serena Williams Fund, which has built schools in Africa and helped young people in need through various initiatives. Why don't you leave us a comment and share your thoughts about Venus Williams? Has she and her sister Serena really made tennis a multicultural sports that is dominated by the white middle class? Maybe. The race issue is now long past us with the recent success of Emma Raducanu, who won the US Open. Would really appreciate a like 
or even a subscribe. And if possible, please donate on Patreon, however little the amount, to support this channel's ongoing mission to undertake our motocultural campaigns. And remember, it's what's inside that counts. A motto we have used at the Emmas, as Venus Williams and her sister Serena Williams have proven there is no getting away from hard work and to face up to those adversities in whatever form it may appear. So until the next time, thank you for watching and keep it motor